CES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names and web hosting services. New GoDaddy customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. Todd Cochran from Geek News Central, continuing coverage here at CES 2011 with the Tech Podcast Network, and we're at Display Link. You guys know very well we've covered Display Link uh, several years in a row, wandering by, and we see a showcase award. You guys keep racking these things up. So, Jason, what is new at, at Display Link? Uh, hi. Uh, well, as as your uh, viewers know, I believe, Display Link's a USB graphics company, so USB in, graphics out, so that's sort of the way we work. Um, this year, we've actually won a CES Best of Innovations oh, Award, Innovation. which okay. we're really, really happy about, because we've been runners up before, but this year we've actually won. Right. Uh, and we've won that for our USB graphics technology. In, in this case, uh, our next generation USB 3 graphics technology. So that's going to be the same kind of thing. Simple, U one USB connection going to your PC, and then you get a, an extra monitor uh, you know, through USB but this time through super speed USB, through USB 3. So it takes you all the way up to HD? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, that's kind of, you know, that, what's pretty awesome is, you know, and it, more and more computers are coming out with USB 3.0, so will it work with the standard laptop running USB 3.0? It will. It'll work with a laptop using USB 3, and actually, if you plug it into USB 2, it'll go back to USB 2 as right. well. So, of course, it, it would have to work that way so that we can you know, work with all the PCs out there. But, of course, if you plug it into a USB 3 notebook, you get all the benefits of USB 3. That's higher performance, you know, smoother video. And actually, one of the other interesting things here, we're actually showing uh, bus-powered monitors. So, we've done these in the past, so this is a monitor that you add to your notebook that's entirely powered by just the USB connection. We've done that with USB 2 for years. Yeah, and that's pretty cool. So, I saw right back here you've got a laptop and just hooked up to the monitor. Exactly. So the difference here, we've done these before, some of these smaller monitors. I think the biggest one on USB 2 is 15 inch. Well here, here we've got this massive 23 inch monitor and this is powered only by a single USB 3 cable. So what we have here is a USB 3 notebook one USB 3 cable, and then this 23-inch monitor. Um, and, and, no, and no power cord. Yeah, no power cord. It's just uh, just uh, one cable going up to your monitor. You guys did hear that. No power cord. <laughs> okay, so I think those of you that have like these uh, USB 2.0 little devices sitting on your desk, you know, don't try this at home, folks, with USB 2.0. It won't work. But USB 3.0, enough power to... That's just amazing. that it, 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 Now, are there a limited set of monitors that this will work with? Well, today uh, we've been working with Chima Analux, but there's some others we've been working with as well. So you're going to see some of these monitors come out this year with the USB 3 and the USB 2, actually, bus-powered monitors of different sizes. Yeah. So is the USB 3.0 product ready to, uh, to uh, is it ready today, or is it coming out in a future, in a, uh, in a future quarter, or where, where are we at on that? Uh, well, you're going to see the, these monitors coming out in, a, in about four to six months, um, and with some of the other products following on after that. It's going to be about the middle of this year is what we're looking at for USB 3 products. So what is the new price point? Have that, has that been set yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the price of this, and we're the chip guy inside. Right, but, right, uh, right. So, you know, there again, very cool stuff with Display Link, leading the edge. And, you know, here's the thing, you just got to remember, you don't have to add an extra monitor and add, you know, another DVI cable and all that stuff, especially if you're just using a laptop, this is the way to go to get to a bigger monitor to use on the side. And so what I use at home, I've used Display Link products for, for many years. So thanks for your time today. It's been great. Glad to see you guys are still innovating. <laughs> Thank you very much, Todd.